So today we're talking about throwing punches off the center line. And if you don't know what that means, it's basically throwing your punch and moving your head at the same time. So that way you're not punching and at the same time getting punched. It's good to have the basics down. But if you want continued success, you're going to need just a little more. Champion scored the knockdown. A double. First, we've got the straight punches. And as you can see, I simply slip and throw the jab at the same time. Very easy. That way I'm not getting hit. I also can throw the right hand and slip at the same time. Both of these can be used to the body as well as the head. When I throw the hook, I don't always need to go off center if I have my proper form. But sometimes when you have an aggressive opponent, you might need to check hook them. Yep, again, check hook. They're coming in too strong. After that, you're throwing a rear uppercut, which is not as much moving to the side, which you're probably changing levels by bending your knees and also making sure your head is protected with your other hand. Next, we've got the lead uppercut, which you will slip out to the side and throw that lead uppercut under the jab. I've seen a lot of knockouts with this one. Next, we've got the rear hand body shot, which is more so changing your levels, bending your knees. Your head will probably go off to the side a little bit. After that, We've got the lead hand body shot, which you're slipping out to the left. Also changing your levels, bending your knees, using your hips to turn in for that body shot, catch them around those elbows. Next, we got my favorite, which is the overhand right. All you're simply doing is bending your knees and slipping your head at the same time. Make sure you turn your hips for devastating power, and now you know how to move your head off center. 